Erev Tov, Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have again yet breaking news once again. This is really spiraling out of control. Russia wants emergency UN Security Council meeting. But on this breaking article, Russian Foreign Ministry, White House defending the Islamic State terrorist. That is what Russia is saying as of right now. Russia says that the situation in Syria is worsening, finding that the rebels have intensified their attacks since the ceasefire came into force on September the 12th and laying the blame at the feet of Washington for failing to crack down on jihadists. The Russian Foreign Ministry issued a scathing response to the Obama administration after U.S. Central Command statement suggested that the U.S. coalition had uh, had warned Russia prior to the airstrikes against Syrian army positions at Deir Ezzor that left some 62 Assad regime soldiers dead. I mean, do you guys see what they're saying? The Russian foreign ministry issued a scathing response to the Obama administration after a U.S. Central Command statement suggested that the U.S.-led coalition had warned Russia prior to the air airstrikes against Syrian army positions. Now, are they trying to say that, that there was a U.S. Central Command stating they were going to hit the Syrian army positions? I'm not really sure on that, but it's getting serious, guys. We already know, too, like I said, Russia wants a, a, an emergency meeting of the, U, at the, of the U.N., uh, according to this article here, Security Council sessions on U.S. bombing of the Syrian army. Russians convened an emergency U.N. Security Council session. Less U.S.-led coalition airstrikes against the Syrian army, which Moscow fears will undermine the breakthrough ceasefire agreement that just went into effect earlier this week. It is not good, guys. And I'll tell you something. I cannot help but think that we are seeing... The fulfillment right here on your screen now, Daniel 11, verse 44. But tidings out of the east and out of the north shall frighten him. Speaking of the king of the north, which is none other than, you know, NATO, which head by Rome's military might and power, the Vatican calling the shots, telling President Obama what he's going to do and when he's going to do it. So it says that it frightens him, and he shall go forth with great fury to destroy it and utterly take away many. This is what we are seeing right now. The U.S., they're saying it's an accident. I, I have to tell you guys, I do not think that that was an accident. We know already there's been too much information. We've seen the pictures of John McCain with ISIS members uh, when they were creating this group. Obama so kindly leaves behind all the military hardware and says we don't need to bring it home so that they can capture it all. And now, on every side, the Obama administration flips back and forth. Sometimes they're for the Kurds, sometimes they're against the Kurds. Sometimes they're for the ISIS, sometimes they're against ISIS. Sometimes they're for the moderate rebels, sometimes they're against them. Well, today they got, or yesterday, they got kicked out by the moderate rebels, so... Whose side are they really on? Or maybe the moderate rebels wasn't doing a good enough job, so what did the Obama administration decide to do? Let's go back to our good old buddy ISIS there. We'll bomb the Syrian rebels and make everybody feel a little better. It is going nuts, friends. Very bad. This is a bad situation. We are headed to the Syrian border early in the morning there, up to Damascus there. Get a feel what might be going on around there. I am concerned that this is all about to spiral out of control. I do believe we are seeing fulfillment of the prophecy of Daniel 1144. Some may say Ezekiel 38. Well, if Ezekiel 38 is in this, hooks in the jaws, remember that jaws and hooks are plural on both sides there. Who knows? I, I kind of lean more towards it being NATO. I, I kind of lean more towards that being the United States itself. Uh, because clearly that king of the north is not Russia either. It is the United, uh, or excuse me, it is the, the, the Roman Vatican there who is running the NATO forces there, both EU uh, coalition forces along with the Russian. But speaking of the EU, we find out today also the prime minister of Slovakia is saying that Russia is doing more for the Minsk agreements than the Ukraine is by far. 
That coalition is beginning to break apart. Why? Because some of these EU states know that Obama administration is doing nothing but lying to the rest of the world. But he's just a puppet for Rome anyway. What can you expect? Maybe that's one good thing about Donald Trump. You know, he doesn't just cower down to the Pope on everything he says. Anyway, I'm Stephen Badoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very serious situation here going on in Syria with the U.S., with Russia. What's going to happen next?